Trunk is known the trunk in the media. <laughs> and the opportunity came for me really to, um, as I began to see the deterioration, not only of the paper, it's unfathomable for me as a Los Angelino for us not to have an important paper and a voice, not just for California, but the voice for this nation. And as you begin. To like I'm running for office here. <laughs> you may be by the end of this uh, session. <laughs> um, and so when the opportunity came up, um, not only I had a, I jumped at it, but I truly jumped at it out of terror. Um, I got a call on a Thursday. Friday, Saturday, I was actually hosting a symposium at uh, Marina Del Rey of about 200 doctors to educate them on our work on cancer. And I got a call on Thursday by Ferro and his group and said, we are going to move. We're going to take a new headquarters. I'm mean, going to reduce this, the team by close the newsroom to, by my calculation, down to 300 people. We're shutting down the Washington Bureau. You could stop that if you like by buying us, but you got 48 hours. And um, that's what I had, 48 hours. So I said, fine, send your team in. And while I was running the symposium, um, we had a secret room upstairs, and they sent the team in. And with very little information, um, and this was over Super Bowl weekend, we signed the deal in two, in two days. I, I think it was probably the most important, one of the most important decisions I had to make in, for both my, my, my life and my, for Michelle, my wife was somewhere in the audience, and our family, because I think this is our way of saying, as an immigrant to this country, living the American dream, and uh, the ability to not just give back, but in my mind, save a local paper, but also save democracy, was an opportunity. <laughs> So that's why I did, did what I did. Um, the, uh, the business hasn't gotten a whole lot easier since you came in, but um, one of the things that, that you recognized rather quickly was that um, we had to grow beyond uh, being a print product. That it, We all love print and we wanted to hang around for as long as, as we do, but that that increasingly we're going to have to figure out new ways to uh, create content for new audiences. And um, you've laid out some very ambitious targets for us in that regard. Um, how do you see the brand Los Angeles Times and where do you think we have license to do things different from what we're doing now? Well, when you think about the Los Angeles Times, it's a, what, 138-year-old brand. We are really were, and still are, I, I hope, uh, revered, not just uh, in the country, but outside of the country. I think if you look at the um, both Canada, Mexico, uh, the uh, China, Korea, um, the opportunity, the license we have is we are Los Angeles. And there is no other city, and you begin to sort of see a city like this that has culture, art, sports, food, um, technology, science, uh, innovation, breakthrough. So when we talk about what I think about Los Angeles and actually California in general, but Los Angeles more so now, is we are the, what we call the window to the future. So I think we have a responsibility, one, to be sure that we actually provide local news that are of interest to you as readers. Uh, first as Los Angeles and secondly as Californians. But I think we also have a responsibility to actually provide information that will inspire the nation. Because we are, everything that's been developed here, whether from surfing to electric cars to SpaceX to um, the technologies that's been developed, the healthcare and the science. So 
the license that I've asked um, Norm and the team is to truly find ways and, and beginning to sort of see that where we can find stories that are really of interest to you. So when I said that the only interest, you know, as a physician, I say the only interest I have to consider is the interest of the patient. I think the only interest we have to consider is the interest of the reader, um, not the advertiser. Sadly, however, the advertiser is what in the past model uh, created our revenue stream. Now we're going to have to depend on our readers to subscribe, and this is not a pitch to subscribe, but it is a pitch to subscribe. <laughs> uh, but don't think you can leave this room without <laughs> signing up. It's the only way for us to survive. But having said that, we have to give you um, something of value. We have to bring to you stories that are meaningful, impactful, um, insightful, informative, um, and most importantly, hopefully inspirational. So that's your license. Do you, um, do you see California as, um, as in many ways different from Washington, for example? Is that an area of opportunity? Well, we are the, I think at the end of the day, Today, Washington is a different Washington from when I grew up, right? I think uh, now we're in this tribalism, populism um, mode where there's nobody having a, a civil discourse. So I think what we need to do is really, is part of the responsibility, if you're talking about Washington as politics, California can drive the politics, and you and I have talked about it a lot. It seems like California and, and us are at war with Washington in a sense. So we need to take on the um, um, issues that are important to all of us, not um, whether you're Democrat or Republican, but to all of us as Americans.